Thank you. Now, if we can have the coaches come forward again, just to give a little talk, no more embarrassment. Thank you, Julie. Um, been thinking about this all day and knew exactly what I was going to say when I got up here and now I can't remember. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that made me just feel more like my boys because they can't remember their points either. So. <laughs> uh, honestly, there's a, there's a ton of thank yous need to be said and most important to all your fans and uh, especially the parents. Uh, Thank you for letting us spend time with your kids. It's uh, it, it's a, it's an honor and a privilege to do that. And, and thank you to our wives uh, for putting up with us. And uh, Kelly Pizor, uh for all that scorekeeping that you do. Uh, thank you very much. Most people don't know that a lot of times because of her uh, Kelly uh, with her knee problem and stuff, uh, she would drive. Two hours down the road just so she can keep our book. That, that's pretty special, Kelly. Thank you. Uh, my daughter, Dia, for the music during the home games. Uh, and the boys really like it. And the boys really like it. Uh, now, uh, about four months ago, Coach Torchman and I were sitting down in, after this building. And planning out uh, what's going to happen, what's basketball season about ready to start. And looking at a list of names of kids that want to play basketball. And about two weeks after that, on a Monday morning, about 5.30 a.m., Coach and I were sitting right over there in that corner, followed by 32 kids, one at a time, coming through the door. Some carrying their duffel bag, some dragging it. Most of them had their shoes tied. Just about all of them had a flat spot on one side and sticking up on the other side. I think Dalton had bedroom slippers. Right? But anyway, we were there and we seen this group come in. And I don't remember our exact words, but I think it was started with, oh my. <laughs> There may have been one or two explicit in there after that. But anyway, this is what we have. And at this time, I would like all the players that played for us on the C team, if you are here, stand up. This year, 
because of other team schedules. We never got to play a lot of C games, but for those of you that have seen most of them, we did have seven games, and these young men won five of them and lost two. Now, all of you that have played this year on the JV team, stand up. Again, this group started with a line. But this particular group I'm exceptionally proud of. Every year, we challenge some of our kids to make it to the next level. Whatever level you're on, make it to the next level. This year, we had two young men who came to Hunt and Sheldon's too. If they earned that right to the next level, and we're very proud of them. But even more importantly and more impressively, this year, these young men got to play 18 games. And proud to say that they have a 17 and 1 record. And that one loss came to the hands of women by one point. And believe me, every one of these guys would love to play them again. <laughs> and that being said, in case you're all doing the math, you guys sit down. Oh, by the way, one more little information. I did some stats on our JV team. Our JV team average scoring 48 points a game while holding our opponents to 22. So combined between these two levels and our varsity level, we have a combined record of 42 and 6. That's something that we're pretty proud of. And thank you, boys, for doing all this. Thanks, students, and boys.